We love music. So we all came together to make this happen. Anytime, anywhere, any place on planet Earth, we're gonna go to Mars. Heat wave and the vendettas, we'll die for this shit. How did you guys, uh, how did you guys make the connection in Vancouver? We're from different genres, working on different music, but we were all in the same studio. Oh, I'm loving life, I never hate it. It's not about the money, even though they pay us. So I was working with Lamar Ash, mm -hmm. um, and uh, you were working with Heatwave, right? I was working with a few different people, and Heatwave was working on his solo stuff, and he wanted a drummer for a hip-hop track that he's working on, so that was the first thing we worked on, and then we just kept jamming, kept jamming. They say I'm famous, well how I say this? Like Muhammad Ali, I'm trying to be the greatest. And how did that work? Because you guys all come from pretty different backgrounds. It seems like you're sort of jazz, right? And then what I read about you was kind of heavy metal rock. And then Lamar's R&B, and then, yeah, <laughs> and then you're the hip-hop. Well, you know, for Lamar Ash, it's easy for him to go into different lanes or into the music world because he does, he's, he's an R&B singer. What a day, what a day, what a day, what a day, what a wanna, uh, 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 eh, eh, eh. She plays the keys, he plays the drums, that's, that's his world. Me as a rapper, it's not, it's not normal for a rapper who is doing the underground scene to go into this world, you know, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm open to grow and pro progress as a human being, also as an artist. Right? The, the block looks good, but it's hotter than an oven. Came a long way, I wasn't given nothing. Show you what's real, the brother ain't bluffing. Yeah, I think we're bringing our own sound to right. the table. It's a brand new sound, because, you know, you're mixing what I do, what Lamar does, what she does, what he does. I'm right in, just straight to my telly. Put my luggage down and put some food in my belly. Hit the venue, say a little prayer, now I'm ready. Hit the stage, now it's all eyes on I think our intention for the first release is to have a wide spectrum of different sounds happening so that it sets it up for any future release that we're able to do any kind of cool. transition. It can work in right now in the market with singles. People are just yeah. releasing singles. That's right, yeah. You can release album 10 is. singles, That's no right. album. You got nothing, I got some melody. Even though there's lots of different styles, I would say that we have a really cohesive show from beginning to end. It all started real late in my living room. Fam asleep on wide awake, turn the melodies into tunes. And it all has one common thread through it. What is that common thread? I think when we're playing, we're always trying to make Heatwave sound the best that he can. Right. So maybe rather than just having a beat underneath him, we thought it might sound better to you know have like her, her keyboards and drums and stuff like that. I got props for my homies this afternoon. Reach for the stars and ain't long till you pass the moon. How does the band figure into your guys' careers? Because you guys all started as sort of solo people, and it's just a matter of delegating your time to. Because I play in five different bands that play shows regularly and are putting out records and stuff, right? Yeah. She the type of woman that can turn me on. She the type of lady. In, in my hip hop world, um, I put out like eight projects, right? So like I, I work really fast. Like when I'm with these guys, like we get better every day. We do, we try, we experiment all day. Every every song's an experiment. I still got my hip hop world and I got my live band world and I'm getting them done. Some of you guys have toured with some fairly like big names, like. In March 2009, we opened up for K9 yeah. for four of his uh, Western Canadian shows. And how about either of you guys? Have you opened for some major Definitely. Acts or... I mean, I've been with Red One from the Rascals. He's like oh, my yeah. mentor for like the last six years, and he took me all around the world. We performed in front of like 20,000 people in Haiti. So what's the biggest thing you've you've learned from him as a mentor? Um, be, be patient, you know, don't... Respect the process, you know? Stay focused, stay motivated, stay hungry. Yeah, I've definitely been given this piece of advice. Good music travels, so you don't need to, you don't necessarily need to like be the most annoying person on Facebook <laughs> and like refreshing your own video on YouTube. I said I do this for the L-O, B-E the L-O, for the L-O, B-E the L-O. What advice would you guys give to yourselves five years ago, looking back? Maybe save yourself a couple of headaches or whatever. <laughs> but take a hit song and travel back in time and write it before they could. <laughs> Yo, I feel free, man. I let my spirit speak. I drop jewels, I drop wisdom when I spit it teach. That's a hard one. 
I haven't really messed up that bad yet. <laughs> I make hits, I drop bombs like it's Middle East. Go hard, just real touch, you just a memory. Oh, what did you do? You did something crazy. You you were supposed to sing on a. Oh on yeah, a, he got called the morning to do the Haiti version of Waving a Flag for Kanan. Oh. Lamar went. He's in the video, and he got a Juno because he, he was there it. for ten minutes and he was singing in the chorus. And he was sick and he didn't show up, so he didn't get a Juno. Had a really crazy week that week, you know. I, I was sick and I was still doing things. So that day, I'm like, I'm taking a nap tonight. Oh, you know, my the phone is ringing. You know. Red ones calling me <laughs> off the hood. It's sort of an illegitimate Juno because you're up. singing in a choir, right? You're not like a lead vocalist on the tracks. So it's like so people don't have to. He wants that to win. He mantle. wants to win the right way. <laughs> yes. Okay. Cool. Well, hard work. That's good. With That's dedication. good. Dedication. One love. He waving the bandanas backstage now. I'll see you guys again. Come on, he waving the bandanas, give it up!